it's Stally111 here, and this is part 11 of my series, What If Fallout 3 Was Made Into A Movie. Right, so we left at the point where the Lone Wanderer had just found out that his father had ventured into the city of Washington DC, which is where our main character is going to head next. The Lone Wanderer, while still being in Megaton, decides to get some supplies and change his costume so that he is not as distinctive as he was beforehand, so that the Tenpenny's men could not recognise him. After getting supplies, he leaves Megaton and heads for the city, in which he is guided by the map on his trusty Pip-Boy 3000. Once he has established a route into Washington, he stumbles across some raiders, which he attempts to bypass, but sadly, his anonymous figure caught the attention of the thugs. With his fine pistol that has got him out of a mess beforehand, he decides to pursue these attackers, which intimidates them, to the point in which they retreat into their super duper mark, which they like to call HQ of their operations. With that kerfuffle out of the way, the Lone Wanderer continues his journey into the city. This is where he encounters a massive obstacle. Not any beast or creature, nor a man armed to the teeth. This obstacle is merely a destroyed building blocking his path to the location he wishes to go to. With this obstacle in his way, he makes the only decision he can which will result in success of getting to his destination, which is to travel through the dark, gloomy, horrific metro system which has been abandoned since the Great War for obvious reasons. The only company he will receive down there is some ghoul feeling cuddly and in a good enough mood not to rip his head off on sight. After finding the entrance to the nearest metro tunnel, the lone wanderer gingerly walks down the steps well aware of his surroundings until the darkness invaded his complete sight. After a minute or so of walking in complete darkness, the lone wanderer remembers about the light enhancer in this pit boy, which he then uses to guide himself through the unnerving tunnels without walking into walls. He then reaches an opening where another metro station would have been before the war. After that, he hears a bunch of loud squeals and a few grunts from afar, and then he hears quick paced footsteps. After a few seconds, the fast paced footsteps got louder, and apparently he was not being so quiet after all when he was wading through those tunnels. The noise had gone from the Lone Wanderer's ears, as he needed his other senses at that moment in time. Just then, he saw a small horde of zombie-like creatures, which are known as ghouls. On sight of these horrific beasts, the Lone Wanderer sprints up the stairs for the closest exit he could find. He knows he won't be able to kill them all, as he may appear to be handy with a gun, but he's actually just a really lucky guy with his recent shots. He's not had too much experience, as he's been living in a vault. All apart from a BB gun shooting range, he's not had any whatsoever. After what felt like endless running to the Lone Wanderer, he finally found the exit, where he then was welcomed by some noises he has not become accustomed to. That of a laser weapon, and also creatures who are receiving these attacks from these lasers. Super mutants. After seeing this, he realised the laser weapon yielders were friendly and he decided to help them out against these abominations. After clearing up the fight with the super mutants, the lone wanderer notices a small posse of heavily armed soldiers coming his way, which frightened him a lot. This is where we're going to end this episode, hope you enjoyed, and make sure to comment your opinions on my decisions down below. Thanks for watching, my name is Stally111 and I hope you have a good evening. Peace out. Number one.